Hi, I'm Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial I will show you how to configure the settings of the WP Affiliate Platform. This plugin allows a site owner to pay their affiliates once a successful customer is referred. Affiliates can sign up and log in using this default page as shown. It is here they can see how many referred customers have made a successful payment, provide their details for payments for their commission and create personalized profiles. Now that you have briefly viewed the affiliate portal, we will now configure the plugin settings so that we can potentially gain successful affiliates. If we head to the back end of our site and we go down to WP Affiliate and Settings, we will be brought to General Settings. I'll now step you through the majority of the fields to configure them to suit the affiliate needs. Firstly, you'll need to choose the site language. English is set as a default. Scrolling down, you'll need to give your affiliate site a title. I've given mine Blogger HQ Affiliate Site for the purpose of this tutorial. The next field is Cookie Life, which is the number of days an affiliate will be able to be rewarded for referred sales. So I'm just going to leave mine as 21, but you can put in an amount that you'd like. Next, we've got the currency symbol and currency code, which are entirely up to you, and a contact email address. Next, I'd like to draw your attention to the affiliate portal URL and affiliate login URL. When you install the plugin for the first time, the plugin will automatically create the affiliate portal for you. The URL to your affiliate portal page will then automatically show up in this field. You can then start sending your potential affiliates to this page. This next URL is perfect for sending affiliates who already have an account to the login page. Scrolling down further, you'll see a Terms and Conditions URL field. This is where you can paste in the URL of a Terms and Conditions page if you have one. If not, just leave this blank as I have. And scrolling down further, you'll see Enable Custom Field Tracking. Enable this if you want your affiliates to be able to track a customer field for clicks. So this is where the affiliate sign-up registration specific settings are. Um, you can check these boxes if you want to manually approve affiliate registrations and not allow visitors to sign up. So scrolling down further, you'll see the Make PayPal Email Address a Required field. Check this box if you wish for your affiliates to leave their PayPal email address. So I'm going to check that box. And the next field, Show Payable To field. Um, this field will be shown on the affiliate registration and profile pages. Um, it works well if you're going to pay your affiliates by a check or check payment. So I'm going to tick that one as well. So you've got the tax ID field. And the next one, send sign up notification to admin. And you've got the give registration bonus. Um, this is good if you want to entice people to become an affiliate for your site. So now we've reached the commission settings, which is where you will state how much you'll pay each affiliate for successful customers. So it's here that you'll put in a commission level, um, which will be the percentage each affiliate is paid for successful customers. You can also configure recapture settings if you'd like by filling out these fields here. I'll now just scroll right to the bottom to update the settings. Just click on update options. Now that we have updated and saved the general settings in the WP Affiliate Platform, we'll now move on to the email settings. So in notification preferences, send commission notifications. Check these boxes if you want to send notifications to affiliates and to admin. You'll need to check this box if you want your affiliates to be notified once their account has been approved. The next Stages of the email setup is where you can configure each email accordingly. For now, I'm just going to update my options. I've now configured my settings of the WP Affiliate Platform and you've viewed what the WP Affiliate Portal looks like. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you still have any unanswered questions, I recommend you head over to the forum or email us.